Virgo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Yes, my loves, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a note, it doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now, please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too, okay? Virgo, I apologize for my absence, but you know I just made a major move and it took a little longer to get settled than I had anticipated. But from here on out, we should have regular readings coming out and personals will resume on August the 15th. Okay, um, I thank you in advance. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. Virgo, this is all energy. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, they, them, her, him, it, heifer. There's no gender here. All energy. Just take it how it resonates. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Virgo, um, I was called to pull an angel answer as your oracle today. Um, if this is the calling, then there is a question. Um, the card you pulled was unlikely. What I heard was highly unlikely. Okay. Um, this feels like honestly an expectation that you are wanting from someone or trying to call in from someone. And they're just in a different place. They're actually in a darker place. I ain't gonna lie. And that's their journey. And I think you want to know why, but looks at the bottom of the deck. Meditation brings answers. It's almost as if that you want an understanding of no. Okay? You want a better understanding of no. There is a, a peaceful resolution to this matter. And I think it's going to be for you to really accept that this person's journey is their own. And you shouldn't stop what you're doing for yourself. Be assertive. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I love these cards. Oof. We're not gonna. We're, we're not gonna do that. Okay, y'all not gonna. Mm -mm, nope. Let's put some tarot down, cause I'll be here all day. Uh, center energy, please, for Virgo. We are using the light seers today. Center, thank you. Two of Swords, see? It's hard. I know, my love. It's hard for you to really... It's like you don't want to see what God is trying to show you, you know, or you don't want to accept it, you know? But for whatever it is, it's highly unlikely. The Two of Swords energy is air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And understand that she, she's facing a decision that she doesn't want to make. It's not that she doesn't know... Um, the choices. It's like she doesn't want to face it. That's the purpose of the blindfold. But the blindfold is self-inflicted or it's she put it on by her damn self. How about that? So I'm going to say it like that. Okay, we're going to cut and dry this thing. Crown the energy for Virgo. Ooh. What's crowning you is a new beginning that you're manifesting. You're manifesting a new beginning. This new beginning, Magician Energy, Aries, uh, Aquarian Energy, Page of Wands is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I, I, I love it. I love that it's, you have what it takes, like period. And I'm going to just put a dot right there. Um, you have expectations of someone either to travel with you on this journey or to change. It more so feels like change. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I wanna say it like that. What's crowning you is wonderfulness, greatness, 
but your your expectations of some you can't take them with you my love that's how this is feeling and i know you want to know why and it's like god is saying virgo don't question me let me do what i do and i need you to do what i told you to do you understand what i'm saying what's undermining virgo right now what is the energy thank you uh, eight of swords feeling stuck but my love this is an illusion she looks in the mirror and sees a situation where she is bound but in the real she's not the re reality is you're fine for whatever reason you see this as a binding situation but it's not even though it feels like that or when you think about it it seems that way but it's not it's not the reality of okay what's i'm sorry uh past energy past energy what brought this on seven of wands reversed fire energy not standing in your truth not setting healthy boundaries not standing your ground, not holding dear to your honor, to your value, to your goals in life. It's almost as if you said, I wanna say like, in, like you try to incorporate somebody or something into your blessing. And that's not how it was meant to be. Not yet. You know, maybe the answer is not right now. It, the, you know, but it's coming off as a damn no. I ain't gonna lie. It's just highly unlikely. All right. But meditate and talk to, to God on why the answer maybe is no. Okay. There is a way out that is peaceful. Peaceful resolution is right under that. Therefore, the forward uh, movement is bringing you to a place of peace, a place of calm. Uh, future energy, please, for Virgo. And it's a three of cups, celebratory energy, celebration. Um, in the future, there is togetherness. It might not be from, you might not get, get the strength and love or support that you expected from, from the people you expected from. It may come from somebody you met in line at the damn coffee shop. You never know. You never know. But it'll be exactly for you when exactly you need it. That's a three of cups energy. You know, it's celebratory energy. It's an energy of gathering and coming together. This is not a time for you to go into your shell. This is a time to come out and live and enjoy and embrace life. Bottom of the deck is a page of swords. It's not just stalking energy. I know um, that's what a lot of us think, but it's also an energy of research, homework, study. You could be thinking about going back to school. You might be in school or just trying to master your craft. I'm hearing changing, honestly, um, um, careers, changing positions, something like that. But, you know, it's gonna be baby steps and you gotta be careful. Make sure you get the knowledge you need because you see she's walking on a very thin stick to get across the cliff. You see that? But the wheel is under that. Fortune is in your favor. Fortune is in your favor. Destiny is in your favor. Happiness. Good karma. You know what I'm saying? These are things to come. But it looks like you have to let somebody go. I ain't gonna lie, Virgo. Or let go of a feeling or some type of hold that you're allowing the situation or person to put on your mind because in the future is where your emotions get into play when you are emotionally fulfilled from somebody that you don't expect to be fulfilled from to be honest outside of that there is no water 
there is air and fire. Magician can be considered water. It, it's coming off airish to me and I know, yeah, it's just coming off airish to me today. What it might be tomorrow, I don't know, but you know I read intuitively. Let's clarify here. I have vision uh, quests. Yeah. I want to start with Seven of Wands in reverse for Virgo. And we have a Seven of Water. Confusion, illusions, too much on your plate, too much going on. <sighs> Being so full. I feel honestly so full off of this energy. Like I, I'm stuffed. You know how you eat too much and you're just stuffed and you're miserable? That's how this energy feels, you know? So you had a lot going on and maybe it was so much going on that it was just like, this is just too much. I can't even think, you know? Um, or I need help. Maybe that energy made you feel like I can't do this alone, you know? Um, whatever the case was, it brought you to a place of um, not acting as yourself, not standing in your strength not pulling from the strengths that you have and uh, in the abilities, intuitive abilities, okay? Excuse me, <laughs> let me correct myself. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this Two of Swords, current energy, mother of fire. See, that's what I'm saying, I love this. Sagittarian energy, Aries and Leo as well. Queen of Wands energy, the mother of fire is confident. This is what you want to tap into to take the next step. Confidence. The mother of fire knows what she wants, when she wants it, how she wants it. Her confidence is so high that she is the only queen that will challenge an empress, knowing that she doesn't equate energetically, but she'll challenge her every time every time because that's how strongly she feels about herself you understand what i'm saying this is what you want to tap into this is what you want to pull from this is what you want to help you take that step make that choice make that decision crowning energy magician and a page of wands manifesting this new beginning daughter of water here coming in reverse not taking no shorts that's the thing. That's what's going to help you get this. This mother of fire energy will get you out of this two of swords. Take that blindfold off. Face what it is that you have to face in this life, about your life, in this journey where you are right now. Take control of that and pull down from manifesting your new beginnings, your new start, your new creativity, your new uh, path in life without taking no shorts. None. Why is the Eight of Swords undermining Virgo? <sighs> There's some untruth here with the Father of Air in reverse. I ain't gonna lie. There is some illogical thinking. I'm going to tell you the truth. There is some... It's too much tongue biting. I'm going to tell you that. Tongue biting, illogical thinking, untruths. These are the things that's making you feel stuck. All of which are not true. Nor does it have any control. That's the thing. It's like you're giving this power. It doesn't have it on its own. This issue, this even lack of communication, silent treatment. I don't give a hoot or a hot nanny what it is. You think it's in your way. You think it's stopping your growth, stopping you from doing what you need to do, and it's not. Because it's highly unlikely that this person will change or that this situation will improve for you. You're being led to take control, boss up, have confidence, and do what you need to do in life. Let the will turn in your favor. Let's talk about this Three of Cups because I see some help coming. Ooh, what 
the star. Oh, God bless you. Aquarian energy. Yes. See, the star brings hope and healing and balance. Uh, the star energy reminds you that it's okay to dream. It's really okay. And honestly, why not throw a prayer in with it? Ask God for something. Just, I mean, it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt. Throw a prayer in with it. You know, It's. I know you're humble. I know you thank God and bless God for everything. But, you know, by the way, God, if it's, you know, if it's your will to do so, can you just throw me a bone here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe this is what this connection will remind you of, of your personal relationship. Oh, by the Nobody, your relationship is personal. That's the beauty of a relationship with the Most High. It's personal. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to share it. You don't have to justify it. It's personal. Mm, fair God. What up? See, there is your, you're going to get it. Ask for it. Ace of Earth, Ace of Pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised what you get. You'd be surprised of the blessings you get. Listen to how you're being led. Listen, listen to your angels and spirits and, you know, whoever it is talking to you. If you're in a closet on your knees, it don't matter to me. Okay, listen. You're asking, listen to the answer. Because something is highly unlikely. It's calling for, uh, there's a call of action here for you to move forward, okay? Because there's blessings uh, to come in your new beginning with no shortcomings. Own that. You deserve it. Why not? Why not? Woo, Virgo, I'm going to leave this here. I hope it helps. I love you guys so much. Um, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe so that you are notified of future readings. And if this doesn't resonate, check out your moon and rising. It's okay. All right. But guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.